Welcome to Pierre's Adventure. Today we're, we're doing something that is fairly acquired by all Gaspesian, but probably if you're outside of Gaspesi, you probably need some training on that, and it's mackerel fishing. We're gonna give you tips, give you the lure to use, what setup to use, what line, what kind of rod we are using here, and we're gonna show you that just after this. The most basic lure you can find for Gaspesi mackerel fishing is that one. It's a one ounce or um, there are smaller one, but uh, one ounce is the best to start with or higher. Um, it's a green little fish. It's all metal and you can basically find it everywhere in uh, any department store. What's most efficient, if you have a bigger rod, you can throw a bigger thing, is one of these lure. They are two ounces per uh, lure. Uh, they got a um, triple hook. Um, and basically these are very efficient in terms of throwing. They give you nice throwing distance. And uh, they are fairly good at catching mackerel. They are available in two, uh, a lot of color. Most likely what you're gonna use is green and blue. Here uh, I have a setup with uh, a steel wire. You put that on your line and that end you can change it. Uh, it's a quick attach. What it's gonna do is that you can daisy chain these and having a fly or a shrimp mounted here like that so when you throw you have two hook that can be used to take fish that's the basic setup you can mount a flyer it's uh it's what most guest vision are using is fly it's a red and uh yellow flag in case you're uh, trying to catch bass too stupid bass can bite on your lure uh, you may use a single hook with uh, this nice little swim shad. It's lighter, so it's easier for a smaller rod to throw, and it will be effective for bass, mackerel, and cud. And if you have a very heavy rod, you can use that four hunts um, jig, which is uh, very efficient in terms of throwing distance and um, it will catch fish <clears throat> in terms of adding to your line because you can add a lot of flies um, I use shrimp they are very easy to use you just mount them with uh, your easy clip-on thing and it's already um, uh, pre-mounted with uh, a single hook so you can catch uh, bass too with it you can catch cod you can catch uh, mackerel and if you're a fly tire, you can uh, build your own. Here I have some uh, Mustad saltwater um, hook. They are stainless steel, size number two. Um, and you can build yourself your own flies. They will be pretty efficient. So use one of these hook and um, a red wire, preferably. Um, you're gonna mount some mackerel. Uh, you only need three feather, different color, or you can use two red, two yellow, whatever. And you're gonna mount them as simple as it is, like this. On the hook, like this. So it's gonna be like your fly. Yeah, you have the hook on there, you can catch things with that, and it will be pretty efficient at catching mackerel. You use that as an add-on on your line. And uh, as per line, um, if you have a smaller rod, you can use like uh, 
mono 20 pound uh, they do pretty well uh, if you get stuck in the bottom maybe the line will cut before the hook but uh, that thing is uh, can give you a fair share of uh, fish and what I've been using the most is 30 pound uh, big game it's pretty cheap uh, you get a big uh, roll you can do all summer with it and many many summers and what's good about the 30 pound is that most of these hook like uh, I have one here they will break before uh, you get your line cut. So what's good for it is that your $5, $6 jig, you don't lose it in the bottom. You get just change the hook and you're good to go. And um, as per knot, I will show you in a moment. <clears throat> you could also use a braided line. I will recommend a bigger braided line like a, a 60 or 100 pound because um, most of the time if you get in a rocky bottom they will have tendency to cut due to friction so using metal filament they break less on rocks but if you go with a bigger breaded line just go with it it's it's throwing a bit uh, uh, further and uh, you will get some fish too okay now it's for the knot example that you're gonna do on your uh, end um, what I like to do is a tuna knot because it's stronger it put uh, two line on the hook instead of only one or on your uh, leader and what you're gonna do is basically make a loop make it as long as you want and you're gonna pass it into your hook and then you're gonna loop it around your line five times And then you're gonna pass it through it and back in and you're gonna pull that tight in the end. What it's gonna do is a really strong knot where you have two strand going to your hook. That will save you a lot of lure and you just basically pull that through and you cut not the line <laughs> but you cut the tail and the double the loop and you're done you have your tuna nut done and with that you can uh be more sure that you will lose less lure in the bottom of the sea as per rod i've been using for a lot many years uh a shimano sagaro um, it's uh, medium AV action and it's fast. Um, that pole is eight foot long and it provides a lot of a lot of power and it's uh, fairly good at bringing mackerel back and it has a, a fun feeling to it. Uh, as per real, I had a cheap one. It's an Amundsen uh, available at Pronator, but. Um, I will defer against it. Uh, I have better stuff coming here. Here it's um, a cat rod. Uh, it's a big um, a glow stick from Berkeley. Glow stick from Berkeley. Um, it's a very powerful rod. It's a nine foot long rod. The other one was a eight. Um, it has a lot of power, but lack flexibility in the end. So if you're throwing like four rounds, uh, it's it's very good, but it's it's gonna be hard on your shore because that thing is pretty much heavy. But uh, you can bring back everything to shore with that. It's it's a monster at work. And on the more balanced side, another um, catfish. I have a, a Shakespeare Wildcat, and that thing is uh, a medium AV action. It, cr it can throw three ounce lure, no problem at all. It's built for that. And it's a seven footer, and that one is very fun to fish. It has a lot of flex in the hand, and will bring you a lot of action. It's 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 very fun to catch fish with it. And my favorite uh, of all, it's my Pen Pursuit 2. It's a, it's a 5,000 class reel, and it's doing fantastic. It's a water, uh, saltwater uh, reel 
and it's very good. At the moment, it's marking the 12 pound line because I was fishing at the river. I'm gonna switch that to 20 or maybe three, but it's doing a real good job. Really smooth, really powerful. Um, I will recommend. If you have a, a something to build, uh, Shakespeare Wildcat plus uh, Pen Pursuit, wow, nice combo. I really like it. So in the end, I'm putting these um, little shackle. For example, if I go fishing, you will see that I have my gear here. I'm using it to get a shrimp and uh, my longer leader bring me to my macro jig. Thank you for, for being here. I hope uh, you have learned a lot with our um, short video. Uh, I will do a fishing blog soon so you can see me in action uh, to get a better idea how you use these stuff. Uh, but most likely you throw it the further you can and you bring it back by pulling, reeling, pulling, reeling, pulling. And that's it. It's, it's going to bring fish. You have opportunity to catch cod, mackerel, and also bass with that technique. Um, and they offer, for mackerel, they offer a very good fight. They are not big, but they offer a very good fight. Pound per pound, they're probably the best fighter fish in all the St. Lawrence. And on that, I say thank you to you. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, press the like button and subscribe for more video from us. Thank you. If you are interested in the gear we feature in this video, I will invite you to look at the description below. I will have some Amazon link for you. And for you uh, French people, I will have uh, a video coming up soon for mackerel in French.